Hey guys, welcome back to another problem solving tutorial. So in this um in this video I have a problem. Uh this guy has a C sharp date, uh he got it from an API and it's in the C sharp date time. So he just wants to convert it to a Swift date, which should is should be pretty easy. I'm noticing straight away that I think his formatting is a bit wrong, so we can fix this. Uh let me just call it C sharp to Swift date. And I'll just copy and paste this code just to get the start in. And let's just put that in if you did load. Okay, so let's see what he's doing first. Uh, oh, let's just. Uh, it's not going to do anything. Let me print his return date. Let's just see what's going on now. So it's returning nil, which seems about right. So let's see. I think the date format is wrong. So it's year, year, month, month, and then day, day. That first bit is correct. And then this is the time zone, I'm pretty sure. And I think that's also correct. Uh, so T's there, and then that's just that. Then hour, minute, second, point. Uh, milliseconds and I feel like this last bit is wrong um, SSZ I don't know what Z stands for but I don't think it's right if I, I think it's capital S for milliseconds if I fix that I think that should be right uh, let's run this and uh, it still prints nil hmm. so let's see uh, if what else have I done wrong? It should go in minutes, seconds. Oh, I see. He's completely missed out the seconds. Now I see what he's done. So the SS was correct. And then he forgot to do dot SSS. And the SSS is actually for milliseconds. So it's seconds, hours, minutes, seconds, and then dot milliseconds. Let me run this again. And let's try and print date. And yeah, there we go. We've got the right date. So this is the same date here, and you can see we have the right time zone. I think it's just a bit different because of the time zone here. But yeah, apart from that, you can see it's all correct. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye now.